What's up guys, Bassmore back here again today. So today I wanna to go over a little tackle hack for your soft plastics. We all go through it. We all struggle to kinda, of, you know, keep them stored on the boat and whatnot. So this right here is my little hack. So what this is, is a Plano 3700 deep, deep tackle box. What this does is it allows me to store all of my plastics. What I do is I keep them in bags. So I got a bag full of just Texas rig stuff. I have a bag full of more of like flipping baits and trailers and stuff. It's got a lot of uh, crawl dads and, and different like um, the pit bosses and stuff like that. I've got all my extras here up on here. And my last is my drop shot slash shaky head bag. What this does, having all these separated like this, I can quickly kind of just go out and grab what I need. I know exactly which bag is which. Go grab it, get my bait, put it back in. All the other ones stay nice and secure inside of here. Like I said, you can see this is a deep tackle box. You can see the difference in width there. So let me show you how many baits I have in each bag and, and kind of give you an idea of everything that goes in this box. All right, so all in all right here, I've got 36 bags of plastics. I don't think I need too, too much more than that on a day out in the water. Um, and I've, like I said, I've got all my, my punching baits or my flipping baits. Um, they can kind of double as you know, my trailers for jigs or spinner baits. I've got my drop shot and shaky head baits. Um, I've got my Texas rig baits, so if I want a worm, or if I want a baby brush hog or anything like that. I mean, I could even Texas rig, you know, some of these pit bosses. So I've got kind of everything covered for a day on the water um, or even a tournament. Anything like that, I've got crawls, um, all your kind of drop shot baits you can think of. All right, so the way to get into the maximum in these bags is you got to keep them pretty tight here. You got to keep the top of the bag open. And what I allow myself to do is I don't fully close these, but when I fold them over, and I push them into place here, I can push the air right on out of it. So you can see I have three different bags. This one's probably my thickest, my Texas rig. It's got a bunch of different baits in here. Again, you don't fully go this over. I leave the top half open. I fold over and I can push the air straight out. Same thing here, fold over, push out, push out of all three closes right up. Um, so, I mean, I, I, like I said, I have 36 bags of plastics to be able to fit into one tackle box. Granted, I have a, a size tackle bag that can, that can handle it. Um, but for me, that's, that's crucial as far as saving space, getting to what I need to quickly. Um, again, it goes back to being quick and efficient on the water. So if you guys want to kind of steal this idea, that's, you know, that's awesome. It'd be great. Like I said, I take individual things, and I break them down into categories. So in my sense, I have three different categories. I've got my Texas rigs, I have my trailer slash flipping baits, and then I have my shaky head slash drop shot baits. Yeah, I gotta take some of the baits out to find exactly what I want as far as the colors go. Um, but you know, when you're a co-angler, you, you kind of have limited space. You don't want your, your crap everywhere on somebody else's boat. So it's something to think about. And if you guys like this uh, video, please use the subscribe button below. Comment anything you got any questions about, and I appreciate you stopping by and hope to catch you on the next one. See you.